can see, brilliant. I can see all sorts of things here. I can see different coloured fish. I can see some corals. It's just beautiful. I love being under the sea. Oh, hello, what are you doing under the sea with me? Well, this week you've been learning about snail and the whale. And whales, as we know, live in the sea, in the oceans. And this week we are going to be learning all about oceans in curriculum. Uh, so let's get cracking. So in the snow, the snail and the whale. The snail gets on top of the whale's tail and they go for a journey all over the world. And that whale is called a humpback whale. Okay, and here are some humpback whales here. Just look at them, they're absolutely amazing. You can tell a humpback whale because they have lots of nobbles on their head and a big white bit under their mouth. And what they do, as you can see here, they rush up to the surface with their mouths wide open and they catch their food, which is tiny, tiny little things called krill. For a great big whale, they only eat really small things. And a whale is just one of those brilliant things that live in the ocean, okay? And we're gonna spend this week learning all about the different animals that live in the ocean. Okay, to help us learn more about our oceans and all the life that lives in there, I've got a lovely video clip for you to watch. Hope you enjoy it. Look at the huge ocean. Miles and miles of water. We can't live without water. Nothing can live without water. These animals live in the water. They couldn't survive unless there was a lot of water around them. They have clever ways of moving around and look very graceful. The octopus is an amazing creature. It's got eight arms called tentacles that sway in the water looking for food. It scoots along the ocean floor, tentacles everywhere, its big round body going first, and its big beady eyes on the lookout for danger. Big, flat fish called rays scoot along the ocean floor as well. The ray looks a bit like an underwater pancake, doesn't it? The ray's fins look like wings too. These are jellyfish. They don't really look like fish, do they? And you couldn't eat them like jelly either. But I suppose you could say they do wobble a bit like jelly. Look at this creature. It's a type of slug that lives in the sea. It's a wonderful colour. It's called a Spanish dancer. The Spanish dancer sways around in the water, a bit like a dancing lady. This big underwater creature has a large flat tail. It's called a sea cow. It lives in the sea and eats sea grass. But it doesn't look much like a cow, does it? Sea cows are great swimmers. And this fish is a fabulous swimmer too. It's able to dart about quickly in the water. It's a blue marlin with a long pointy face which looks as sharp as a pin. 
The marlin shape helps it to swim fast. Look at it go! Whatever the shape the animals are, big or small, round or flat, fins or flippers, they're all at home underwater. Okay, so now you've learned a bit more about life under the oceans, okay, this is your task for the next couple of days, okay? I want you to design your own ocean, your underwater scene, okay, with all the life that you've seen on the videos and anything you've read in any books or anything like that, okay? So, there's some examples on the screen here, uh, and what a lot of people have done is they've used a box and painted it blue for the sea. Some people have put sand on the bottom or painted it brown to like the ocean floor, and then they've drawn or cut out or even modelled different sea creatures. Okay, you can use anything you want to, anything that's in your house. Okay, if you can't get a lot of this stuff, don't worry, just do me a lovely picture on some, um, on some paper. Uh, like a painting of an underwater scene or you could make a model of a whale or anything like that and as we go on during the week we can add different bits to your underwater scene okay i like there's some ones use their hand prick with some paint here to make it look like a little underwater fish so you can really let your imagination go crazy with this one i'm really looking forward to seeing these and have lots of fun. I will see you on Wednesday for another underwater adventure. <laughs>